range today. Um, got a nice long field here. So I'm going to take it out um, about 120 meters or more. Uh, 120 meters is about 400 feet, I believe. So that'll give me some, I guess, a kind of a reference point to vertical altitude, um, which is basically the cap, the FAA cap on altitude, anyhow. So we'll see, um, we'll see what kind of uh, picture we get at that distance. And then if I'm not too chicken, maybe I'll take it up to that uh, same altitude <laughs> um, and see uh, what results I get. So <clears throat> let's power up the quad. We have a full battery. Okay, and the sun is going down, so the picture should be fairly visible to you guys. I can see it just fine. Let me fix my camera to the horizon. Get those props out of the shot. Waiting on the satellites now. We've got five. And that was what, 15, 20 seconds? So one thing about this uh, quadcopter is it locks on to GPS pretty quickly. And as you can see, we've got seven it's still flashing. The satellite symbol is still flashing, so we don't want to put it up yet. We've got eight. And it's still going. We've got ten now, and the satellite is now solid. And the other thing I noticed is when it powers up, the camera starts automatically. There's got to be a way to change that setting, um, because I definitely don't want the cameras to start immediately. Fourteen satellites. Okay, we should be ready to go. We are in GPS hold mode, so we are going to arm the motors and take it on up and test this FPV range. There we go. All right. Looks good. Sounds good. Let's take it on up. I'm going to take it up about say three meters or so. And looks good. Let's just do a walk around here. It's holding, holding its position extremely well today. You know, I think I made a discovery here. So the last few times that I have launched, I've launched when I had um, a good number of satellites, but I didn't wait until the satellite symbol stopped flashing. So that may have something to do with the uh, calibration. But as you can see right now, that thing is locked in. I like it, baby. All right, let's turn the camera on now. Okay, we are filming. So I am going to go ahead and take it up a little bit higher. Take it up to about five meters. Okay, so we're at about five meters now. And uh, you know what, let me take a snap. Well, I won't take a picture yet. Let's go ahead and test this FPV range. Let's take it on out. Just, just smooth. Take it on out. Keeping its altitude very, very well. Still at five meters. We're at 45 meters in distance. You know what? I think I might have misjudged the length of this field. It might not be 120 meters. We're at 100 now. Let's move it over and make sure there's nothing out there. As you can see, the screen is starting to flicker a little bit. It's 116 meters. Get out of here, bug. 116. Actually, it's 125 meters. 125 meters. So that's about 400 feet. And you can see the picture is sort of a little staticky, but I can deal with that. I can see that. I can see that just fine. Okay. 
Let's take it out. Let's go 130. Okay, that's 131 meters. And as you can see, I would say that's pretty decent range. I don't know if I would go any further out than that. But like I said, that's that's a little over 400 feet right there. Okay. Let's bring them on back home. I'm going to give it a full full pitch there. Let's see. It is descending now when you give it full pitch. And letting off the sticks and let's see what it does. It still moves a little bit, but it kind of it settles in and then locks in its position. It's going back a little bit. It's, it's much better than it has been. Okay, let's see if we can get some footage around here. We are on the campus of Calvin College. Beautiful campus. So let's just kind of fly around. We've got a sunset uh, that's upon us. So let's just kind of fly around a little bit. Take it up altitude a little bit more. And I'm doing FPV and line of sight. Now the picture is a little bit dark right now, but I think that's just because of uh, the, the position of the sun and whatnot. So I'm going to take it up a little bit more. We're at 52 meters right now. I'm sorry, we're at 13 meters. 14, let's take it up to about 20 meters. see that sunset. All right, I want to take a snapshot. There's a picture. Pan it around. I'll take another. Okay. There's another picture. And another picture. Okay. And let's turn the camera back on. All right. Oh, I'm getting a little static there. But I can deal with this. I'm about 21 meters in the air, 51 meters away. I'm going to bring them on back. And lower it. Right. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and land it in just a second, but first, let me uh let me go out here and see if I can film a little bit. Okay. It's just uh See what kind of footage we can get here. nicely now and we're going to check test this uh, hover stability 18 satellites this thing flies nicely look at that let's just do a pass let's do a couple passes let's do another pass here real stable flying there holding its position well let's come on back And let off the sticks and see what happens. It's probably going to come back some because it went past its position a little. It's descending. It's coming back now. Not too bad. 19 satellites. 
as you can see there. Pretty good, man. So we're at 10.8, 10.9 volts. We've been flying for about eight minutes yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and land them. Turn off the camera. Well, I'll turn off the camera later. Let's go ahead and land them. Okay, camera off. And we're gonna throttle down to shut off the motors. Okay, eight minute flight. Uh, we went 131 meters away from home. We traveled a total of 711 meters. 44 kilometers per hour was the top speed. Uh, come on back here, 20 satellites. Um, and then highest altitude was 20 meters. And then there's the latitude longitude. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and power everything down now. <clears throat> Power down the quad first. Looks like we've got uh, two LEDs left. So we've got about, let's say, eight more minutes of flight time just to be on the safe side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move locations and uh, see about getting some other footage. All right, I'll be back. Go, go, gadget!